Welcome everyone to today's episode where we dive deep into the fascinating world of AI, inspired by the 2024 AI Index Report. I mean, wow, this year's edition is packed with insights that are just mind-blowing. We're talking about AI's growing influence on society, and let me tell you, it's not just about robots taking over our jobs. It's about how AI is reshaping everything from our daily lives to global economies. So, buckle up, because we're in for a wild ride. Mm, wow, that sounds super interesting. So like, what are some of the key takeaways from this report? I mean, I've heard a bit about AI, but it's kind of overwhelming, right? Absolutely. One of the standout points is that AI has actually surpassed human performance in certain tasks, like image classification. Imagine a computer being able to identify objects in a photo better than you can. But here's the kicker. When it comes to complex tasks, like advanced mathematics, AI still struggles. It's like having a super fast car that can't navigate a tricky mountain road. Hmm, that's a really cool analogy. So it's like AI is great at some things, but not so much at others. I mean, can you give me an example of a task where it really shines? Sure. Think about how AI is used in healthcare. For instance, AI algorithms can analyze medical images like X-rays or MRIs and detect anomalies that a human eye might miss. It's like having a super sleuth detective on your team, but when it comes to diagnosing a complex condition, it still needs a human doctor to make the final call. Oh, wow, that's fascinating. So it's like AI is a really smart assistant, but not quite ready to take the lead, right? Um, what about the research side of things? I heard there's a big difference between industry and academia in AI research. Exactly. The report highlights that the industry is leading the charge in AI research, producing 51 notable machine learning models compared to academia's 15 in 2023. It's like a race where the corporate teams have the best trainers and resources, while the academic teams are still figuring out their game plan. Haha, ha. that's a funny way to put it. So like, why do you think that is? Is it just about money or something else? Great question. It's definitely about funding, but it's also about the urgency of application. Companies are racing to innovate and bring AI solutions to market, while academia often focuses on foundational research that takes longer to translate into practical applications. It's like the difference between a fast food restaurant and a gourmet kitchen. One is all about speed and efficiency, while the other is about crafting something exquisite, but it takes time. Hmm, I can totally see that. Speaking of money, I heard that training these AI models is getting super expensive. Like, what's the deal with that? Oh, it's wild. For instance, OpenAI's GPT-4 is estimated to have cost around $78 million to train, and Google's Gemini Ultra is even higher at $191 million. It's like building a spaceship. Huge investments for something that can potentially change the world. But you know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? Right. So, like, does that mean only big companies can afford to develop AI now? What about smaller startups? That's a valid concern. While big companies have the resources, there's a growing trend of democratization in AI. Open source models and cloud-based services are making it easier for smaller players to enter the game. It's like how the internet opened up opportunities for small businesses to thrive. Hmm, that's really encouraging. But what about the regulations? I heard there's been a big increase in AI regulations in the US recently. Yes, the report notes that the US saw a jump from just one regulation in 2016 to 25 in 2023. It's like the government finally realized that we need some rules of the road as we speed down this AI highway. But it's a balancing act. Too many regulations could stifle innovation, while too few could lead to chaos. Wow, that's a lot to think about. So it's like we're in this exciting yet kind of scary time with AI, right? What do you think the future holds? Absolutely. The future is both thrilling and uncertain. AI is accelerating scientific progress and enhancing productivity, but we need to ensure that we're developing it responsibly. It's like being on the edge of a cliff. There's a breathtaking view, but you have to be careful not to fall. Mmm, I love that metaphor. 
So like, what can we do as individuals to stay informed and engaged with these changes? Great question. Staying curious, educating ourselves, and advocating for responsible AI practices are keys. It's like being part of a community garden. Everyone has a role to play in nurturing it. Haha, ha, I love that. A community garden of AI. This has been such an eye-opening conversation. Thanks for sharing all this amazing information.